Hi there, my name is Mark Nicolaides. Um, welcome to this presentation on how to prepare for this year's uh, GCSE physics exams. So now, very briefly, I'm going to discuss how your child will be assessed, um, what activities uh, must your child do to absolutely make sure they maximise their potential in these exams, what activities could they do um, for the, the exam, sort of extra things, and how can my child get help and support with revision? So how will each student be assessed? Well, essentially there are two tiers of assessment. There are foundation tier and higher tier. If a child does the foundation tier, they can access grades one to five, higher tier grades four to nine. Now, two papers, each paper is one hour and 45 minutes in length and they're a hundred marks. For paper one, uh, which is examined on the 9th of June this year. The uh, modules that are assessed are modules one to seven. Um, and from paper two, modules eight to 16. Again, as you can see on the slide, um, both papers are equally weighted in terms of marks and time. OK, so what things must my child do to absolutely prepare properly for the exams? The absolute bare minimum is to do any Seneca home learning that is set by the class teacher every fortnight. Um, it's all computer based. Um, it's, there's a passage to read, there's some notes to read and some questions to answer. And also there will be set some past paper questions booklet every week. So they get a booklet with some questions on and the answers are in the back and they are to absolutely make sure they do those every week, every fortnight, etc. Whichever the teacher, um, whichever frequency the teacher sets. So that is absolutely important. Those are the essentials to make sure they are properly prepared for the exams, as well, of course, as absolutely, absolutely making sure they attend um, the lessons as often as possible, attend school as often as possible. So to make sure they keep up to date with the notes and any information that is given to the class. Apart from the absolute essentials, like making sure they attend as many lessons as possible, um, doing any Seneca homework and setting any booklets or home learning tasks set by the teacher, each student is strongly recommended to do as many of these as possible. First of all, to access Teams, and like I said on the slide, you go to S11 students on Teams and you go to the area whereby it says um, there are revision resources, um, there are questions to do, etc. There's a revision guide, um, the CPG revision guide, um, entitled, um, sorry, titled Physics GCSE. This is the exam board's um, revision guide, very, very approved revision guide, very, very good, got all the notes. Um, that is the recommended place to learn the notes from. There are questions in there too. Um, the next thing is, is to use the free science lessons website. And there's, there's a lesson, a video lesson on, on virtually every topic in the syllabus. Strongly recommended that there are downloadable workbooks, etc., to use those, and of course um, they can use past paper questions, um, and they can mark them using the mark schemes. The place to access these is the AQA website, and there's a link here on the on this slide. I strongly suggest um, those are resources um, very much worth utilising. Now, most students are going to experience difficulties at some point, and of course, they're going to need to know where to go for help and support, etc. First place to go is a physics teacher. Um, they will be able to quickly explain um, any concepts, where to go for, um, for extra help, etc., resources. Um, 
Another thing to go to is Study Plus after school, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, uh, 3 to 4 p.m. in the cafe. Um, they can work there in a good, secure environment and um, that would be a very good place to revise, etc. It's very important, though, that um, the students access help as soon as they can. What they don't what they don't want to do is to have a topic they don't understand and leave it to the last minute to get help. Get help as soon as problems come up. Um, and, and another area that you could look at is also other students could help. For example, you might have there might be a student may have a friend that can get um, they can get to explain the work that will help as well. Um, but the first protocol is normally the physics teacher. So I strongly recommend you use that. Well, thank you very much again for listening to this presentation on GCSE physics revision. The most important thing to realise is that the students must um, take action to revise promptly using the resources suggested uh, to work diligently over a long period of time, over weeks, not to leave it to the last minute, to use past exam questions, to do the homeworks, to attend school as often as possible, to make sure to keep up to date with what new updates, information, etc., hints and tips from the teacher. And if there's any problem, then you can either contact um, the school or you can contact me directly by using my email address. My email address is mnicolaides at perbeck.dorset.seh.uk. Once again, thank you very much for listening.